Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fawn YouTube channel. Guys, we're not talking about the most exciting stuff in the world today, but uh, golly, it is nice out. So we got some some things that really matter. They might not be the most exciting, but they're things I've been wanting to update you guys on, but I had to get the right people here so we could get the right information, and we're gonna tell you all about it today. But also, before I get into that, if you guys didn't know, we just released news on the first ever race we're having at the Freedom Factory, and that is the Freedom 500. So it is 20, three crown vicks in a 100 lap endurance race with all of your favorite youtubers the driver's list is amazing let me just give you the driver's list real quick so you can just hear it and unfortunately we did already have one person drop out and that is ronnie mack he actually broke his foot so he cannot race so ronnie we hope you get well soon we're sorry we can't have you at this freedom 500 we'll definitely have you at the next but on the list we have cletus james Cooper, we have Matt from Demolition Ranch, Kyle, Emilio from Boosted Boys, Brent and Jamie from PFI Speed, Adam LZ, Blake Wilkie from Shreddy Life, Jeremy and George from Faster Proms, Nick, Leo, and Doug from SideBySideBlog.com, Justin from Streetcar Takeover, Mike and John Vargas, the Angel Brothers, who helped us build the Mystery Machine, Justin and Bad Chad from JH Diesel, Victor from Bradenton Motorsports Park, Taylor Ray, our drift buddy, and, uh, that 23rd spot that Ronnie Mack had filled, I think I'm gonna try and get Vaughn to do it. Vaughn is checking his schedule, so hang tight on that. But guys, the Freedom 500 is gonna be amazing, and it is only $9.95 to watch it if you buy the pay-per-view the, the days before. If you buy the day of the pay-per-view, it's $14.95. And I ran those numbers by you guys, and you all said it's cool. And I, I did see a couple hate comments about you know us having a, a pay-per-view race, like how dare we charge for content. But guys, I think I've made it really clear that we're invested in the future of making you guys the best content on the planet. So 
I know we're charging for this, but get together with a couple buddies and split the cost. It's going to be an amazing race. And if we do break even, which we're about 25% of the way to breaking even, if we break even and make money, the money is going right into the track. So I'm not trying to go buy a McLaren this week. I'm just trying to make this the most amazing place on earth. So if you guys want to watch the pay-per-view, great. If you don't, the video, the whole Freedom 500 will be posted on YouTube a couple weeks down the road, but we're doing it in a pay-per-view standpoint because it just seems to be the best format for how we want to do this because we have to prep 23 cars with nitrous and roll cages and we have to do the intakes on all of them. So it's kind of a little bit of a job, but we're getting it all done because we want this to be an absolutely amazing race and we have so many awesome guys entering and all they have to do, all these other YouTubers, all they have to do is show up. It's no charge to them. All the cars are done prepped and that's what the pay-per-view is paying for is, is that stuff and also to make the broadcast amazing. So I won't get too far into the Freedom 500. If you guys want to learn all the details about it, you can click the link in the description below. But for now, let's walk into the Freedom Factory and get to work. Ah, I've been dying to pressure wash this in here, boys. I think this is first on our list today. It's getting this mildew off of this concrete. It's not bad under the overhang, but uh, ooh, ooh. That's gonna be a satisfying spot right there. Let's do that real quick. Good morning, Alec. Good morning. It's a beautiful day, brother. How's life at the Freedom Factory been treating you? It's good every day. Hell yeah. Guys, old red. I gotta show him the clip, dude. The burnout clip. <laughs> yeah, let her eat, dude. Alright, alright. <laughs> oh, that was clutch. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> These tires are too damn bad. No. It was half clutch because you did do a burnout. It's smoking heavily. All right, pull it forward. There is a hefty stench of clutch oh, out here. Dude, she's hard to get into burnout. Yeah, pull, pull it up. Pull it up. No, it was, it was doing. That was third gear, brother. Okay, after further review, that was not the other tire spinning. That was all clutch. Okay. We're gonna do no more burnouts. Wait, we gotta try one more. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think you got a, a third try in you, so. Dude, yeah. what the hell? That was all clutch? Yeah, dude. I swear, well, I something spinning. It spun the tire for a second and then it a stopped. And second. I was like, oh, it's just spinning the other side tire. <laughs> She's good, pull her up. It goes into gear in it. Yeah, it's fine. Just don't drive it hard <laughs> or tow anything. Stay away from the <laughs> so, guys, old red, we got her running. As you guys saw, all it needed was a fuel pump. Alec swapped in a fuel pump, freaking started right up, and it's been running so good. How long have you been driving it now? Week uh, and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Literally zero problems. We uh we bought these wheels off of Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks, $40. Yeah. $40 we went and got them from a, a guy who actually has been to Ecclesi and Cars, and then JH got us some all terrains for it. So, you know, just getting getting the old equipment up to spec here. And then we have Andrew Dodge's uh pressure wash trailer so shout out to our boy andrew he's actually coming back today i think to look at some fences so we're getting the fences fixed up we're just we're getting after it but let's do some pressure washing and then we're going to talk about the water system which is a huge issue here at the freedom factory and then we're going to talk about the the infield walls because that's also a uh, a new project we're about to fire up alec pressure washed the parking lot dude that looks so good look at that that's before right there after Dude, I gotta give you I gotta give you a camera so you can time lapse this. I know, I gotta get that GoPro. You gotta do the other one still? Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. We'll get you a GoPro for that. Dude, that looks so good, so bright.
so I wore out the the handle fitting. Can you believe the difference already through here? Yeah. It's so good. It's so satisfying doing this. Clean concrete is yeah. just yeah, it's the best. So this all cleaned up really, really well. And it's hard. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but guys, like it looks so much nicer through here. And it's still wet, so when it dries, it's even gonna be brighter. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's like it's like you're pouring fresh concrete. And it just looks so good. So, all right, that's enough of the pressure washing action. We're gonna go over to the water system right now and tell you guys what the plan is there. We definitely got some major issues, but uh, we're gonna get it sorted. So as you guys all know and understand, there's a lot of bathrooms in this place and there's a freaking massive kitchen. Well, that requires a lot of water. And boys, this water system is, uh, it's got some issues. So I'm gonna hand this to Alex. All right, so, I'm gonna explain this a little bit. A lot of you guys probably know how this works already, but this is how the water system at the Freedom Factory works. So over here, you have a submersible well, right? The, that well is a couple hundred feet in the ground. I don't know exactly how low, but the water table in this area is really low because there's a lot of farming. So the well has to be really low. Thankfully, the well works, but the problem is if you come over here, this is a holding tank for our water system because imagine 15 toilets flushing at one time. If it was just a little pump, it wouldn't be able to move the volume necessary to supply the all the toilets with water and the sinks, whatever's running. So you have this water tank, it's almost like a little water tower. And the problem with ours is it is rusted out because it's been sitting empty with a little bit of water in the bottom for two years. So mm -hmm. this tank is fully cooked and we have a water system guy who is really awesome already out here. So this tank has to be hauled out you can patch them, but we're worried with how much rust is already inside that if we turn it on, we're gonna load the system with rust. So we got a whole uh, plan for this. This tank's being hauled out. We're replacing it with a up to code polyurethane tank. And then what happens with that is your polyurethane tank is gonna be poured onto a concrete pad here. This will be extended. Oh, they're drag racing today. Mm -hmm. Every day out there, bro. Every day. Um, the polyurethane tank will be right here and then that will supply water to these pumps which are essentially like lift pumps and they take the water from the tanks or from the tank and push it to the bathrooms because they're kind of far away. Yep. So then you have uh, your chlorine system that basically adds in a uh, like it trickles in chlorine with mm -hmm. the correct amount of volume just because you have to have something to stabilize the water system. Keep it clean. Yeah keep it clean. I don't know if they're doing a softener or what the plan is there yet. They got a they got a whole shebang, and uh, it's pretty expensive. I think the tank and everything's gonna be, with all the labor and redoing it, is gonna be like ten thousand dollars. So it's it's Happy. a pretty sturdy bill. I thought it was gonna be worse though. So we are getting the water system taken care of. Then we can turn on all the bathrooms, and then that brings us to our next issue, the septic system. So next issue, guys. Obviously, when you have a ton of bathrooms, you have to have a pretty hefty septic system. Well. Our septic tanks are over here. And then there is what's called a lift station, which is, it moves your poop. That's, that's the gist of it, brother. It's a poop mover. And the lift station hauls everything over to the leech pond, which is in the back. And there's a septic system on that side of the track. And then there's a, a way bigger one on this side of the track. But they all pump over to the leech pond or whatever you call it. And that's out back and we have been told that when this place gets busy the biggest problem that we don't have to go back there but it's it's back there we've been told that when this place gets cranking and everyone's using the bathrooms the lift stations can't keep up and the septic tanks overflow which is all something that nobody at the freedom factory should have to deal with because that's like my worst fear is a, a bathroom issue easy solution for that ditch the bathrooms, open a hole in the fence right here and have 50 porta potties out there. So there is a good solution for that, but we do want to fix the main system and have it functional so we don't have to rent 50 porta potties every time we have an event. So that is your water system and septic system update. We've got people coming out for the septic system to look at the lift tanks, look at what's in the tanks, the septic tanks themselves and see what all is happening out there. But now let's go in the track because we're going to talk about the walls.
But as we walk past to get to the walls, let's talk about the bleachers. So guys, as you know, we have aluminum bleachers until about yonder on both sides. And they are nice and clean now. They, they turned out really good. But, ooh, this guy was on a rip. Good pass, what is it? Camaro or Mustang? Yeah, Camaro. So, as you can see, we have wood for the floors in a lot of these areas, and these ones are blown out. So, we have two solutions, right? Put wood in or put aluminum back in. And we had a guy come out and quote us for how much aluminum we need, and I want to just do it all in aluminum, but that's going to be pretty expensive. Now, bleachers are a really good investment. You can always sell them down the road and stuff too. So the goal is to find aluminum. If you're an aluminum bleacher guy, hit us up because we would love to make a deal with you on a ton of aluminum flooring. So worst comes to worst, we replace it with wood, but this is a really basically easy reason you can tell why we can't have anybody out to the Freedom 500 and we have to do pay-per-view only. So wood goes all the way down to the end there. Wood goes all the way down to the end there. And then those bleachers, there's a whole nother plan for it. They're all gonna be torn down. And then hopefully uh, we can fix the ones that are okay, but the other ones are in such bad disrepair, they have to be torn down. And we'll either get some mobile ones just for this year's event, or if we do, uh, if we can get our stuff together, we'll maybe purchase a new set of bleachers for over there. But that's just crazy to think about. So guys, we need to make a game plan for what colors we wanna do on the walls. And obviously we gotta put Freedom Factory on the other side of the track, but this is years of paint. Like, let me tell you what, these walls are thick with paint. How a lot of layers. They are, Alec. I mean, uh, you say can like see four or where, five. Where some of it's peeled off. I mean, it's. Look at that. That is. And it's thick stuff, too. It's thick stuff. So, we were talking about it, and there's a couple different ways we can do this. You know, we could pay someone to do it, which would be really expensive, or we can do it ourselves, which would be a hell of a job, but it'll probably be fun. So, we're gonna do it ourselves. So, the question is. Do we scrape the walls of the paint off? The answer is probably no. I think we just buy a bunch of paint, bog it on here, and then every couple of years replace it, right? Do you think mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Because I feel like if we pressure wash this and start ripping it off, it's gonna be messy. a hell of a job. Messy, it's gonna take two weeks. So yeah. I think what we're gonna do is just pressure wash it, clean them up, and then paint them, but what colors do we do? Do we do red, white, and blue? Do we do the red, white, and black because it's already here and it's hard to go over black with a different color? Mm -hmm. I don't really know. You guys can drop comments below. I know a lot of you guys will just decide to do the American flag colors right off the bat, but the Freedom Factory logo is blue. So maybe we, maybe we switch it up. Maybe this place does need an update. Maybe it does, but that is uh, one of the plans that we have for the upcoming week, so. And this is all amidst the drag racing and our other crap. But, but yeah, drop some comments on what you guys think for the paint. And also, if you happen to work for a paint company local, we're looking to buy a whole lot of paint. So reach out, shoot us an email, cleesmcfarland at gmail.com. We would love to work with you to get some paint. But other than that, we're in good shape. Um, other good news about this. So Timing system. The timing system is actually intact, guys. We had to do some... Uh, research this company reached out said hey we know what system you have you can test your scoring loop if you just test the ohms at the box turns out our scoring loop is intact so we're ready to go for the freedom 500 we are going to test that next week or maybe two weeks from now put some transponders in some crown vicks and run them but uh i haven't even shown you guys some of the crown vicks that we have yet but it's, it's pretty exciting but other than that dude i mean i feel like i went over a lot of stuff today yeah. is there anything else we need to talk about i don't think so all right well Guys, that's gonna be it for uh, the Freedom Factory today. We're just doing a quick update for you on the renovations. A lot of talking in the, the upcoming videos, you'll see a lot of doing. So I wanted to give you guys a game plan so you're not just sitting there wondering what the hell we're doing. We do have a lot of plans in place, but there's a couple things we want to get your opinions on. Burnout pads coming soon too, which uh, is really, really exciting, but I can't show you any of that yet because it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. So. We're really working hard to get this place up to speed as fast as we can. But uh, like a lot of you guys want to see too, we're doing drag race and things like that. So we got to find a good balance for everything. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.